Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 25th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Return to Armenian identity. The National Assembly of Artsakh welcomes the information campaign launched by Luis Moreno Acampo. Azerbaijan reacted to Toivo Kolaran and took the opportunity to present another demand to Armenia. Western Armenia ancient culture and tragic history. Elina Avanesian officially represents Armenia. On 5 August 25, regular session took place on the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President of the Republic, Ms. Lydia Margosian, gave an opening speech. She once again recalled the event dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilikia. Then Ms. President reminded about the coming Zoom meeting on the anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Severs to be held on August 10. President Armena Gabrahamian continued the session. He spoke about Samar University and announced that very important work is being carried out so that everyone can present their projects related to the Republic of Western Armenia and Armenian people. At the end of the session, Mr. President once again reminded about the conference dedicated to Goddess Anaid to be held in September. Armenians of Western Armenia are talking about those who are currently occupied by Turkey. The story of Nazili will sound familiar to those who wish to return their Armenian identity. Her grandfather Sarkis was a survivor from genocide committed against Ar Armenians in 1915. She, he was captured in 1915, but he was able to find a way to escape and hid in the woods. When she was a child, her mother always warned her to hide their Armenian identity as they were afraid of being killed. Mother wanted to protect her children in this way. When she was 14, they talked to Nazali about her Armenian roots, and from that time she started to find her Armenian identity. She started to learn Armenian. She sent her son to an Armenian school so that he could learn Armenian and live in Armenian culture. Her great desire is to see her son as an Armenian. Although the Turkish authorities claim that there are no Armenians living in the country, there are still Armenians in Western Armenia who preserve their culture and identity. Their heritage and culture are their strength and the basis of their identity. The National Assembly of Artsakh welcomes the information campaign launched by Luis Moreno Campo, which is organized ahead of the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The aim of the campaign is to raise awareness of the systematic and gross violations of human rights by the host country, Baku. It is also aimed at uniting pan-Armenian and international efforts for the immediate release of Armenian hostages illegally held by Baku in September 2023, after the genocide committed by Baku and the complete depopulation of Artsakh. Since September 2020, as a result of the genocide or aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh, not only the entire people of Artsakh were forcibly displaced, but also many Armenians are illegally detained in Baku. Ahead of this important global event, the issue of the safe and dignified collective return of the people of Artsakh should become one of the cornerstone issues of the policy of the international community towards Baku. Taking into account these issues, we call on Armenians all over the world and friends of Artsakh to actively support the launched campaign. We ask to use all available tools to achieve the stated goals of the campaign. We are confident that with joint efforts we can achieve justice and ensure the protection of the rights of our people. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Baku considered it unacceptable that the former special representative of the European Union in South Caucasus, Toivo Klar, considers the issue of the return of forcibly displaced Armenians from Nagorno-Karabakh as a special case. Taking advantage of the opportunity, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs presented another demand, stating that Armenia is obliged to create appropriate conditions for Azerbaijanis to settle in Armenia. For some reason, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Baku is convinced that the Armenians don't intend to return to Nagorno-Karabakh. The fact that Klar makes such biased statements on the eve of his resignation, which are not related to his authority, is another blow to a reputation of the organization, which is, first of all, to represent by an AU official, stated Baku. Western Armenia is an Armenian territory colonized and occupied by Turkey. It has been more than a century since the Armenian people had to leave their initial homeland, Western Armenia. Armenians in Western Armenia have a unique ancient culture and tragic history. Western Armenia is the western part of historical Armenia, and 
that come under the control of Ottoman Turkey. In 1908, the young Turk government, which came to power after a state reform against Sultan Abdul Hamid II, took advantage of the outbreak of World War I to continue the mass extermination and dispossession of the Armenians of Western Armenia. The territory of Western Armenia, about 2 million Armenians, were killed as a result of the genocide that took place from 1894 to 1923, and almost the entire Armenian population led to leave their country. The territory of Western Armenia included seven Armenian provinces, Van Erzurum, Harbert, Bitlis, Dikranagir, Sebastia, Trapizon. The Guide of Lonely Planet has dedicated an article to Armenia, specifically mentioning Zanahin and Gerhard monasteries, Café Janar Center and Harini Cave. According to the author of the article, Joel Balsam, Armenia is a unique place for both experienced and novice travelers. Armenia is flourishing not only in terms of the history and culture of gastronomy. Here it is definitely worth communicating with the local resident because their pride and love for the motherland is amazing. Communication with them can help you feel Armenian, was said in the article. Elina Vanesan is performing successfully in this season. The 21-year-old tennis player at the Australian Open reached the third round and repeated last year's result of Roland Garros. And before the start of the Paris Olympic Games, when the, for the first time in her sports career, she reached the finals at the WTA level, also reaching the 58th position. Let's also say that the athlete was one of the 10 best female tennis players in Russia. According to Arabot AM, Elina Avanesan constantly mentioned that she will compete under the flag of Armenia in the very near future. Therefore, on August 5, WTA changed Elina Avanesan's sports citizenship on its website and mentioned the name Armenia. And that means that she is already the number one tennis player in Armenia. This was all for today. Goodbye.